In this video, we'll consider the Laplace transform method for solving linear differential equations, and we'll use the blending process as our example. In the blending process, we have two inlet streams coming together in a well-mixed tank. Those two streams are blended, and then we have a single stream that is leaving the tank. The Laplace transform method applies to linear differential equations, so we will use the linear approximate model for the mass fraction in the tank. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to take the Laplace transform of each term here. The Laplace transform of the time derivative is S, capital X prime of S, minus any initial deviation in mass fraction from the steady state. And here we're going to just assume zero deviation. And then that is equal to minus 4 times 10 to the minus 4 capital X prime of S plus 0 0.075 times 10 to the minus 4 W1 prime of S minus 0 0.025 times 10 to the minus 4 W2 prime of S. And now that we have taken the Laplace transform of each of our terms on the left and right side of the differential equation, we can combine terms for unknown to algebraically solve for the mass fraction in the tank. So now we have a general expression where we can solve for x prime of s as a function of our two inlet streams. Now we can consider a specific step input to stream 1. We can plot that where we have a deviation in w1 that begins suddenly at time 0 and has an amplitude of 0 0.1. So we're going to jump up by 0 0.1 from our previous steady state value when time equals 0. So w1 prime of s is 0 0.1, the amplitude of the step, over s. 1 over s is the Laplace transform of a step function. And then we'll assume no deviation in w2. So that will just be 0. So now we can go ahead and plug that in to our x prime of s expression. And we'll divide through by s plus 4 times 10 to the minus 4. We'll have in our numerator 0 0.075 times 10 to the minus 4, and then we'll multiply that by w1 prime of s, which is 0 0.1 over s. And we will also divide through by 4 times 10 to the minus 4. We're going to divide through both sides. And the reason to do that is when we look up transfer functions in a Laplace transform table, we often have them in a particular form. So the denominator here would often be in a form tau s plus 1, not s plus some constant b. So now we can rewrite this expression. So this form, tau s plus 1, where tau is 2,500 seconds is going to be a more convenient form for us to use. Now that we have solved for x prime of s, we can perform an inverse Laplace transform to solve for little x prime of t, the deviation in the mass fraction in the tank. We can pull out this constant term and then look up the remaining term in the Laplace transform table, which would be 1 minus e to the minus t divided by 2,500. 
And now maybe you can see why we refer to this 2500 as the time constant of the process. It's the typical decay time in that exponential term. In fact, if we evaluate x prime at the time constant, 2500, we see that it is equal to 1.875 times 10 to the minus 3, which is the long-term value at infinity, times 1 minus e to the minus 1. That quantity is about 0 0.63. So we can see that we've reached 63% of that long-term behavior in 2,500 seconds. And we can also sketch the time behavior of the system. And in fact, we can do that in terms of our original variable x, which is x bar plus x prime of t such that at time zero, we start at our original value, 0 0.025, the steady state value. And then over time, which is in units of seconds here, we approach this long-term value, which is 1.875 times 10 to the minus three higher. So that would be 0 0.02, Six, eight. So we would reach about 63% of that value after 2,500 seconds, and we would continue to exponentially approach that long-term value as time goes to infinity. As we consider the solution x of t, it is important to consider that we were solving for x prime of t using a linearized version of the original nonlinear dynamics. This may or may not be a good approximation to the original dynamics. It really depends on how far the system deviates from its steady state value. Now here we had a step of 0.1, deviation of 0.1 going from 1 to 1.1 in our inlet flow rate W1. So that's a 10% change. And then here we saw similarly a small but non-negligible change in X.